Thank you, Werner. Thank you, Werner. As everybody here knows, maps and location are now just part of everything. And at Mapbox, we're building the platform for developers to own this experience, to design maps and put location into the applications that you're building. Our tools let you customize everything, from the style, look and feel of the map, to controlling the underlying data. I mean, we even have auto companies starting to load in high-precision GPS data to start mapping what roads are safe for semi-autonomous driving. And all of this is happening in AWS. Our maps change how you explore a city, like with National Geographic, and understand what's going on in the market, and make business decisions in Tableau. And when you're on the other side of the world, help you find a cool place to stay. And no matter where you are in the world, be able to track breaking news. We built all of this using video game technology that lets us out, we can render the map at 60 frames a second. This doesn't just make our maps faster and smoother on mobile. You can visualize streams of live data, like monitoring forest fires from outer space using the satellites just launched by Digital Globe that can see through smoke. With AWS, this is fully global and redundant for us. Last month, 55,000 developers were using Mapbox inside their application. And those applications were touched by more than a quarter billion people. Today, this is all happening across 10 AWS regions. In each region, we're in at least two different availability zones. And then in the background, we're using S3 to transfer petabytes of map data and satellite imagery in between continents and keep everything in sync. This doesn't just give us redundancy. This gives us speed. So when Europe wakes up in the morning, opens the Financial Times, checks the market, a couple hours later, commute's starting in New York and everybody's looking for a cup of coffee, and then you're getting your lunch delivered in San Francisco with DoorDash, it doesn't matter where you are. Our maps are always fast. Because Route 53 is directing you to the closest CloudFront CDN endpoint. It's so much more than just maps, though. At Mapbox, we want to change how you move around a city. ETAs, turn-by-turn -turn directions, this is the stuff that gets you to work on time. And this data changes every single minute. Can I turn here? Is this a one-way? How many lanes are there? What's the speed limit? We want to map and measure everything. Yesterday alone, we collected 100 million miles of anonymized sensor data from our MAPS SDK. But it's not about the data. It's about how fast we turn that data into a product that helps route you around traffic and analyze the road network. Most importantly, this data is totally anonymized and aggregated. So we encrypt everything in KMS, and then move it through Kinesis. The encrypted data then hits EC2s that process, aggregate it, analyze it, and snap it to the road network. As you can imagine, the infrastructure we need to start processing data at this scale is constantly changing. By the end of the day, we're going to have another 100 million miles. And tomorrow, we're going to have another 100 million miles. By January, we're going to have collected and processed 10 billion miles of data. So I want to show you what that infrastructure looks like. Last year alone, the amount of EC2 compute hours that we used increased 1,044%. But our COGS actually decreased. By moving everything over to the spot market and being able to buy unused EC2 instances, we weren't just able to scale up and process all this data faster. We're now doing it at one-tenth of the cost. And now we're farther optimizing our COGS, loading our platform into Docker containers, 
So now I don't even care what instances are available on the spot market. We can just load whatever is cheapest up with Docker containers and run it. Look, for us, costs matter at every point of this. We started building on AWS in 2007. We were fully bootstrapped. We didn't take a dime of outside funding until three years ago when we needed to scale globally. Today, we're 200 strong. And last week, we reported to the board that once again, we improved our mar margins because of AWS cost optimizations. But honestly, the greatest savings we've had is focus. Look at everything we didn't have to build to support our infrastructure, allowing us to stay heads down building product. And that focus is what's allowed us to expand so fast. So now we're expanding everywhere. Today, at AWS reInvent, we're announcing the opening of Mapbox.cn, our operations in China. This means you can now access the exact same API that you've been accessing globally in country, all built on AWS Beijing. Now, whether you're on Wi-Fi or whether you're roaming internationally, our maps are 10 times faster. As we look to 2017, we're going to continue to scale, both on AWS and with you. Thank you.